Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Joy Michelle and I help photographers grow profitable and thriving businesses so that they can do more of what they love. I do that here on my YouTube channel with weekly videos, but I also do this over in my private Facebook community called Photoboss. I'll link Photoboss in the description below. I just wanted to invite you now, if you haven't joined already, to go ahead and join. Today's video is going to be all about growing your wedding photography business, but it's actually the last video in a whole series of marketing videos here on the channel called Marketing Month. And I'm gonna put these in a separate playlist for you to go back and review, but there are also four live streams inside of the private Facebook group that accompany these as well. So be sure to check those out. So today I'm gonna to share with you a simple and effective marketing plan that you can take into 2020 and 2021 to help you attract and book more wedding clients. Getting more clients, that is what I hear so often is the biggest pain point for so many photographers and trying to attract the right people into your business is the number one concern, right? Because you need those clients in order to grow your business. Now, everything we talk about today, I actually go even more in depth inside of this guide. This is an e book all about your marketing strategy, what you need to be thinking about in order to attract and book your dream brides, but also what you need to be thinking about in terms of your branding and your social media presence. So it's a super value packed guide and it's yours for free. You can get it via the link below. So I'm going to share with you how I approach my marketing and how you need to be thinking about your marketing plan going forward in order to attract better wedding clients. The first thing that we need to establish is what is your budget? This is gonna dictate whether or not you can pay for ads or buy magazine space, or maybe just boost, or I would suggest a targeted ad on Facebook. But this is gonna decide whether or not you have ad spend money to really push towards your marketing, or if you're going to need to focus more on free forms of marketing, like social media, content marketing, creating value and education for your potential clients, and that kind of thing. So first thing you need to do is establish your budget. Next, you're going to wanna pick your key social media platforms. This is something that I cannot stress enough. You can't be everywhere doing everything all the time, or you're gonna burn out and you're actually not going to see forward motion in any platform at all, you know, because your time is being spread so thinly throughout all these platforms and it's going to be difficult to be consistent. So I recommend that you pick one or two platforms and really pour all of your attention and efforts on those platforms for the next month or so, so that you can really get the most out of them. Next, you wanna dig into your brand and really know what makes you different and what makes you unique. In the wedding industry, you may have noticed it's a very saturated market. There are a lot of people doing exactly what we do. You may be a photographer just like me who specializes in weddings and takes romantic imagery. That's not unique or special. So what really sets us apart, what sets me apart and what will set you apart is your brand. This is why you definitely want to download the free guide I mentioned earlier, because it's going to give you prompts and questions for you to really dig into who you are and how you can put that best foot forward with your clients and stand out. This is going to dictate what you post, what kind of content you create and really the visuals of your website. It really, it impacts everything. So we have to think first and foremost about your brand before before we can think about your marketing. And this is a common pitfall. This is where a lot of photographers kind of brush past, maybe they rush through it or ignore it. You might've bought a template or are kind of copying what other people are doing a little bit. And you haven't really thought about what makes you unique and why someone will wanna work with you over someone else. And that is your brand. Next, you're going to want to prioritize making incredible content. You may have heard this before, but it still rings true. Your content has to be bomb. It has to be so helpful and educational and entertaining all at the same time. But the good news is it doesn't have to be entertaining or helpful to everyone. It only needs to be helpful for your ideal client. So this is why it's important to do your homework and to back up before you start blasting out on Instagram and Facebook and pinning pins to Pinterest. Think about your brand and think about your ideal client. You gotta do your homework here and you can't just rush to the computer and start creating things. It's going to help you to have as much information on that ideal client as possible. And in the guide that I shared with you, there are some ways that it's going to help you to gather this information. What kind of questions that you need to answer so that you can get to know that client. And then in turn, what kind of content you're gonna to need to create to attract that client to you. But one of the pillar things that you need to be doing in your business always, not just right now trying to get clients, 
clients, but in order to maintain those clients, take care of those clients, and maintain that customer experience is going to revolve around your content. So the sooner that you can get into the habit of making helpful weekly content, the better. You're also going to want to be Consistent. I mentioned weekly content for a reason because that consistency builds trust and trust leads to sales. And ultimately, I know your goal here is to grow your photography business, to get paid to do what you love and to book more weddings. But before you can do any of that, you have to build trust. So go ahead, take two seconds to download the free guide, fill it out and let me know what you think about it. We're gonna continue this conversation over in the Photo Boss Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys.